STEM is science, technology, engineering, and math. And I like the EV3 as a way to teach STEM because the students are instantly engaged and that math and science is embedded naturally in all that they do. EV3 is a powerful science tool for scientific inquiry. Predict, collect, analyze, and manipulate data while you carry out experiments. EV3 is relevant to a science class because I can use it for data logging. I'm able to use a temperature probe when I'm doing chemistry-based experiments. Um, I'm able to use the gyroscope when, when I need angle. I wasn't able to grasp data logging as well, just looking at a book. Using EV3, we were able to see second by second how the temperature changed. To me, it made class more fun. So if we, if the rest of this ice melts and we put it back in, it'll probably dip down again. So try it out, so you have 180 seconds. Draw a new prediction, factor that into your prediction. Oh my god, it's yeah, so it's cool, so. it's even frozen on the outside too. Explore real-life applications of technology to make analogies, identify relationships, predict outcome, analyze data, and draw conclusions. Last week we worked on the, the robots and programming the robots to drive certain distances and measured angles. So today we're going to move to sensor feedback and, and sensor input. So we're going to go through the programming and we'll detect our cuboid in a certain range. I think you could drive that. EV3 allows me to take and bring the technology outside the classroom that they're using into the classroom as well and let them see if there is a connection between the class as well as their everyday world. Using the EV3 today in class, it's just, it's really fun. It's great to get a chance to use technology like the EV3. It shows our, the connection to all the technology in our everyday lives. Engage your students in practical engineering challenges and open-ended problem solving. Today you guys are going to have an opportunity to act as engineers. You are going to design, brainstorm ideas, and build a robot that can move without using wheels. We could put a frame between the motors and then attach that yeah. in the middle. Good. And these are opposite of each other, so it'll actually step. EV3 is a really good tool for helping kids understand the design process. I like that they start from an idea, and they brainstorm, they can document within the software, and then they move to a prototype phase where they can test and analyze. I really liked working with EV3. It was great to have a working model and a hands-on activity. With the blueprints and the sketches, it was really fun to see everybody's ideas and what everybody thought about each other's ideas. This is our selected prototype, and it uses propellers to move forward. These turn, and when these hit the ground, they propel it forward. Robotics is an ideal way to explore mathematical problems for real, making abstract concepts tangible and concrete. Measure distance, speed, acceleration, find angles and rotational speed. And sometimes it's hard for a kid to understand an abstract concept. It may be a concept that they've, ever, they've never seen or understood. And, and as a teacher, uh, I can take an EV3 and I can demonstrate it, and the kids can really get a very clear understanding. It's the circumference that actually measures the distance. It's the encoder inside that measures the number of revolutions. By actually working hands-on, it's easier to understand the concept than just hearing it. You get to see how it's played out, and it's a, it's a great example of how real-world math concepts apply. I like 
STEM in the classroom because it is applied. It allows students to take subjects that they're learning in the abstract and actually see how they could be used in other areas. EV3 is great for that because the students are not doing math or doing science. They are solving a problem and using those elements as they do that. So it's very important in the classroom.